Hi, I'm Alan Aponte. I'm here with Arthur, and we are going to show you how to do a no makeup makeup look for men that it's easy yet simple. We are going to start with the basis of any makeup, and that is to moisturize your skin. I'm going to be using the Augustinus Bother Moisturizer. And what you want to do is just take this, rub it in between your fingers, and just take it from the center of the face um, outwards. The important thing about moisturizing is that it's gonna make your skin look like skin, um, and it's gonna make your makeup look like there's it's not there. So it's very important to just lay a thin layer of moisturizer all over your face. Once you're done with the face, just a little bit of this one, which is a beautiful moisturizer, apply it underneath your eyes. Um, just to minimize any lines or any dehydration. Dehydrated for sure. Oof. I went out, out last night, so <laughs> I, I, I did it on purpose. So. Just see. lots of water and moisturizer and you'll be good as near. Um, after you do that, you want to take a full coverage foundation. And the reason I like to use a full coverage foundation like the MAC foundation, is because you can actually control the amount of product that you utilize. If you want to cover something a little bit more or you want to go very sheer, it's just about the application rather than the product being a full coverage product. I'm gonna be using um, NW25, which is this one right here. I'm gonna use a flat brush. And what I'm gonna do is that you're gonna identify in your face certain aspects that you would want to cover. Here, we're just gonna do a little bit underneath the eye area. NW45? NW25. Oh, 25. Yes. Um, and I'm gonna apply it before I actually blend it. And it's gonna be underneath the eye. You want to just identify red spots, which usually can be around the nose, right there, and in between the brows and around here. After you do that, because you have the moisturizer, you actually don't have to blend it with a brush. You can just go ahead with your finger and kind of just diffuse it for it not to look like makeup on top of your skin. Look up. When it goes to the area underneath the eye, you will want it not to be very close to the lash line. And the reason being it's because the closer you are to the lash line, the more perfect it looks. And you will want it to look like you have nothing on, but you're still perfected. So just tapping it and warming the product. After you're done with concealing or covering everything, you will always want to have a little bit of powder. I'm using a translucent powder. This powder doesn't look like you have anything on your face. It just literally just gives you more of that matte look. And you just wanna run it very lightly, dust it. After you're done with your complexion, it's very important for you to groom your brows. For that, I'm gonna be using the Surratt Pomade. This is a white to clear pomade. What it does is just holds um, your brow hairs up and in place throughout the day. And what you want to do with this is that you actually just want to brush the hair up. And this product I love because it's really, really light on the brows, even though it holds them very, very well. You want to also identify some um, empty spaces that you might want to actually fill up. And I'm gonna be using the Brow Blade uh, ink and just kind of go with small strokes and just fill it in a little bit. Take any brush, it can be a toothbrush, it can be a spoolie. Toothbrush? Yeah. Like the same one? I Not the same one, but just one in general. Another trick that I like to do sometimes is that after the product is done, I like to take a little bit of a mattifying primer, warm it on top uh, on your fingertips and just kind of press it on top. And the reason I don't put the primer underneath and put it on top, it's because um, it just, if you put it on top, it just mattifies the skin rather than to build up the makeup. 
Um, apply a little bit of lip conditioner. Press them. Mm. And you are ready to go. To key food. So, Arthur, yeah. how do you feel the makeup on your skin? Uh, it feels fine. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like it's makeup. Do you feel like you look like you have makeup? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it, feel, it feels normal. It feels... Just and good. just the last question for you. Yeah. Do you think the steps that I did are too many steps for you during the morning, or is this something that you can definitely add to your routine? Um, for me, personally, it would probably be too many steps, but... Um, it's doable if you want to look presentable. Absolutely, you know? and that is the I'm best. Ju I'm just, I'm just lazy, personal, personally, you know. And, and, and you know, it's like the good thing about this entire routine is that you can actually just adapt it to the to your needs. So if you only need to cover a little bit of your concealer, if you actually just need to hydrate and mattify, you can just use a powder and a and a, and a moisturizer. So those are steps that you can actually just take to. Um, be better with your grooming and not necessarily look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. I don't think I ever went past the moisturizer process. <laughs> a little bit of concealer will go a long way, so I encourage you to try it. Uh, I will.